What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm back again for another episode. Today I'm making a quick baked tilapia with a side of brown rice with coconut oil instead of butter. Alright, let's start by chopping this lemon in half and getting some juice on the tilapia. It's going to bring those flavors right out. Alright, I'm going to give a rough chop to these peppers real quick. Just a little topper for the fish. Don't have to chop them too small if you don't like. Uh, just chop it to your preference. Give a quick speed chop to this celery. Get that all chopped up and ready to go. It's just another topper for the fish. All right, let's go ahead and top the fish with the celery and the peppers. Just spread it out however you like it. Doesn't really matter. It's all gonna get eaten in the end. Gonna top these peppers. I just spread them out about an inch and a half just because I only had a few peppers. If I had more, I uh, probably wouldn't spread them out so far. All right, now it's time for my secret ingredient, an old grapefruit. Give it a quick smell, make sure it's still good. And let's get this old guy chopped up. I just use this to top the fish. You know, fish always taste better with citrus, so any kind of citrus you have would work. Most people would probably use a lemon. I try to be different, so I use the grapefruit. Let's get this nice and chopped into pieces, and then we can top the fish with it. Spread them out however you like. I'll just try to make it look nice and neat. You know, you eat with your eyes first, so... Make it look how you would like it to taste. Alright, now it's time to season this fish on up. Got some uh, onion powder here. Give it a couple quick shakes and on to the next one. Got some sea salt. Always better than regular table salt. Got tongue tied there for a second. Next, I have some uh, dill weed. I like dill weed, it brings out the freshness to me. Next, got some ground cloves. Just makes it a little bit sweeter. Not too much. And a little bit of curry powder. Just a little smoky, spicy taste. All right, let's get this wrapped in foil and get some holes poked in it so the steam can uh, leak out. All right, we got our fish in the oven, so let's start on our side dish, our spinach. First, I'm gonna throw a little coconut oil in there. Keep it nice and fresh and healthy for you. It'll come off the spoon. All right, next we're gonna get our apple chopped up. Uh, you can chop it however you like it. I chopped it in small squares. Uh, for no specific reason. And just how I felt like chopping it at the moment. Uh, this actually tasted really good with the apples and the onions and the spinach. So I really suggest giving this a try. And don't be worried. You can't even taste the coconut oil. Let's 
give this onion a rough chop real fast get that tossed in and sauteed really quick with the apple and last but not least let's get this spinach tossed in off camera I pre-washed it so uh, no food police out there for me please and don't be worried this might seem like a lot but once it wilts down it's gonna be almost nothing but it's gonna taste really good so let's make sure we get it all in there all right let's get this uh, tossed around a couple of times so everything wilts down and gets incorporated with each other Mix those apples and those onions around. Get that coconut butter, I mean, excuse me, coconut oil on all the spinach. And let's move on to the next step. And last but not least, let's get these seasonings in there. I got some sage, a few shakes, got some onion powder. Couple of quick shakes. Got some more deal weed. For the freshness, of course, gotta have a little sea salt. My secret ingredient. Yep, a few squirts of honey. Brings out the sweetness. And of course some apple cider vinegar to bring it all together. Not too much. It's really strong. And my last quick secret ingredient. Yep. A couple of splashes of fresh cranberry juice. And here's our final result on our fish. And it looks perfect to me. Here's a quick close up. That fish looks nice and delicious. And here's the results of our spinach, onions, and apples. It was quite tasty. And I made a quick side of brown rice with coconut oil. And here we have our final plate right before I got full. And a quick thank you to my special helpers. They're always willing to lend a hand.